I'm sure you're going to fit with you. Yeah. Here you go. Oh, how nice. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hey, amigos. I'm Pam. I'm Danny. And we make comedy videos on Latina life. Welcome. <laughs> I play a character on this channel called Gaviota Ramirez Gonzalez del Valle. And I'm Earl. And also an old lady named Pearl. Welcome to our very first Q&A on Latina life. Last week, we put up a post on the channel asking you guys for some questions for today. So we have written them all down and put them into this lovely hat. <laughs> and we're going to be picking them out and answering all of your questions. Bambina's here too. Woo -woo! She's so cute. Woo -woo! Who got the idea of Earl? Earl is kind of our, our love child. Yes. Uh, we both kind of came up with it. Like I had always been impersonating old people pretty much my whole life, just for whatever reason. <laughs> and this is funny. Yeah, it's just funny. And then Pam had a class project um, yeah. for a short film, so she wrote it about an old man breaking out of a, was a retirement, retirement facility, home? and that was Earl. Yeah. So we she she wrote and asked me if I wanted to be the main character. So we'll link that one. Down yeah, below. we're gonna link it for you guys below if you want to see. When Earl was, was created, he was ten years born. ago. Ten years ago. Ten years ago, he made that. <laughs> really funny how that character just kind of yeah, came out came that out. way. Yeah, he just came out and it was great. If you guys want to see it, it's a really, it's a really fun watch. I think I got an A on that class because it was just so good. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it was just, it was really fun to shoot. And uh, when, else. yeah, and when when I created the channel, um, we were trying to add new characters to the show, and we're like, what about? Earl. Let's bring Earl back. Let's bring Earl back. So we brought him back and now he's a stable part of the show. And I'm so grateful for good old Earl. Earl. El. It's Earl. <laughs> What's your creative process? Well, this was a challenge at first because creating regular content is a really big change from just living your life every day and not creating anything. So that was really tricky at the beginning. It was hard to stay motivated um, and keep uh, being diligent and um, what's it called? Dedicated and consistent on the channel. And then we decided when Danny joined me on this journey, we decided to make time for the channel because we were really passionate about it. It was important to us. So now we have Thursday nights dedicated to writing and we write all of our episodes on Thursday nights. We brainstorm, come up with different ideas for the next two episodes and then we write out um, the episodes and then Sundays are our film days. So every Sunday we get together and we film an episode for you guys and then we edit it during the week and I mean we post it when it's ready because we want it to be good. Yeah. So sometimes it takes us a bit to get it together but sorry, it's worth it, isn't it? Yeah, it's worth it. You guys love it. <laughs> yeah, we love it too. Which country do you live in? You live in Canada. Canada! How do you guys make us laugh so easily? Um, we spend a lot of time crafting out the jokes and the episode idea. Yeah, it takes us, yeah, it takes us a couple days after we write it to let it marinate and then, yeah. And it's also just natural talent, like you can't, it's just natural. It's true, um, but it's, it. yeah, and we do, we, we spend a lot of time and effort writing these episodes for you guys, you know, it takes up a big part of our week and it's a, a lot of creativity, creative process, and we let ideas marinate in our minds and we talk during the week, what do you think of this, what if we did that, and this would be funnier, we send each other pictures and um, try to get inspired and develop new ideas throughout the week so that we can be at our peak creative creative speaking on Thursdays when we get together to write the episodes, so. A lot of the stuff you see too, we just kind of come up with on the spot too. Like the episodes change so much from when we write them to when they're filmed. Like that last one with the newspaper, that it was so windy that day and it worked out really well. <laughs> and that ended up being like one of the main parts of the whole video was the newspaper flowing, the wind. flowing around. It was really stressful actually to film that. Yeah, we <laughs> did turned out. We didn't anticipate the wind being a problem, but it was, a huge, no, it was problem a huge problem because our newspaper, we only brought one newspaper as a prop and it was just disappearing because it was just flying into yeah, the wind and 
I remember the last scene where like, okay, we have to do this in one take because we don't have any more newspaper. Like these are the only pieces we have left. So we had to do the last take like, perfectly because we, we were gonna run out of the newspaper because the wind had taken it. But it turned out to be a really great addition to the comedy, it added to the comedy style and to the episode. So sometimes things happen that are blessing in disguise. And it's lucky because in comedy, you can usually get away with it. So it works That's in our favor. Yeah. That's how it's done. Can you please make longer videos? Well, it takes us days sometimes to film an episode that's two minutes long. So we would love to. Uh, we just, we have full-time jobs and we, you know, we both work and it's hard for us to really commit to this when we're doing it part-time. So hopefully in the future when, uh, when we're in the Hollywood Hills. You are in the oh, Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, then we will dedicate more time to it and be able to create, you know, films and like longer pieces of work and yeah, for you guys. So for now, we're just doing what we can with the time we have and the abilities we have. And in the future, hopefully, when Latina gets sponsored and stuff, maybe we can <laughs> create longer episodes. Yeah, for and sure. Let us know what kind of videos you want to see too. Like, any ideas for new sketches or like we're, we're open to doing all kinds of content too. Yeah. All right, I think it's your turn. So sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness, sorry Bobby. <laughs> what boosts or motivates you to make videos? Um, well, we kind of procrastinate, like to be honest. We do. Um, we do, but yeah. we keep each other accountable. Because we're both passionate about this, um, sometimes it's really hard for us to, to get the motivation. But when we're together, like the creativity just kind of flows. Yeah. So. Yeah, we definitely pump each other up. Yeah, we get a lot of energy from each other. So. Yeah. That helps a lot as long as we're hanging out like regularly. <laughs> yes, then it's good. And we've been friends for a really long time. We've been doing this for a long time now, I guess. And yeah, it just we we both keep each other accountable. And even on days where we don't feel like filming or being on camera or we don't maybe don't feel creative and we don't want to write we just get together anyway and sometimes we chat and catch up for a long time before we start working on the episodes but we always come up with something that we're really proud of and that's what's important to us and we keep each other accountable because inspiration if you wait for inspiration you'll, you'll be waiting forever sometimes you just have to write something out and get some opinions from people around you and and then you keep going from there. But it's hard to self-motivate and to do something consistently every week. So yeah, thank we're, goodness we have each other. We're getting better. <laughs> we're getting we're better. Trying. Work in progress, really, that one. Please make camping parts. Right. On the agenda. Sounds good. We will. Yeah, we're gonna go on a killer camping trip this <laughs> summer and We'll film a yeah. great camping episode for you guys. Don't you worry. Yeah, don't worry. Don't you worry. What was your favorite video to film and why? The We had like a Halloween parts episode, which was really awesome. Yeah, um, just that one was fun. chemistry with everyone. It was so fun. Like we were just laughing so much. At one point I had to, I had to like go outside because I was laughing yeah. so Yeah, it was a great film. It was a great shoot and I really like that one because we did it in collaboration with a lot of different people and usually it's just the two of us but that episode we're particularly proud of because there was quite a few people that wrote on it and the jokes were better, the jokes were, good. They were better thought out and yeah, we're really proud of that one so that one was really fun to film. Another one that was fun to film was um, the river day, the river episode because that one was really cool. frustrating, our original idea got totally um, ruined because there were too many people on the beach and so we couldn't film what we intended to film. So we had to make up a storyline on the spot. And we did. Yeah, it was it was crazy. It was like, yeah. it went from being really stressful to like really fun. Yeah. And it turned out really good too. Like we, we had originally planned for that one to have dialogue too. Mm -hmm. And then it just worked so well without, without it. So we just, yeah. Yeah. That was fun. <laughs> that one was really fun. It was it was stressful, but it turned into a really positive experience, and we pushed ourselves to be more creative on the spot. And I think 
part of comedy is that, is being creative on the spot, you know, being able to improvise and work with what's around you to create a good story and to be um, comedic. So yeah, I had a lot of physical comedy too on the show, um, like funny styles of walking and then tripping on things because I think it's just a good way to, for me, I always think it's funny. Uh, yeah. when people fall and sometimes people don't think it's funny. It's a toxic trait. I'm working on it But I've always loved physical comedy like Chaplin and Three Stooges and stuff. I think it's just gold. So I try to Put that into our episodes. And she's taught me to like it too. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. You it is. It is fun. It's funny. It's funny. I like it How long have you guys been friends? like 12 years. I think even longer. I think like 15. We met in high school, like at the beginning of high school. Yeah. Yeah, we were, I remember you were doing like a class presentation and I thought she was, I thought you were, she was really funny. She was recreating a, a commercial. <laughs> yeah, I got up and sang in front of the class and yeah. that's how, yeah, you came up to me after that and then that's kind of how we bonded. Yeah. From that and then yeah, we just, we've made a couple of short films together too mm -hmm. over the years. So we've kind of been doing this sort of thing and talking about it for a really long time. For a really long time. We're both really creative people and we both like the process of, of writing and filming and creating stuff. And yeah, when I decided to start the channel, that was right up her alley and... Yeah, we were on a camping trip and you were asking me what's funnier and trying to craft some episodes and then we got talking about it and then... We decided to meet every week, and and, and then we, yeah. And now we're, we're a well-oiled machine. I'm really lucky. I'm really fortunate to yeah, have you Yeah, yeah. We're lucky. <laughs> we're lucky. <laughs> Where are farts? We miss them. Create one. We try to do a fart sketch every month because they're just so fun. And the views, like I don't know if you guys ever look through our, our videos, but if you, there's random ones that have like millions of views and those are always the ones with the farts in the titles. Those yeah. ones do really well. And yeah, they're our funniest ones. You guys like the farts. You guys like the farts. I don't know what to say. I, we try to do them often because- yeah, they're good, they do well. They do well and we have fun with them. Yeah, we have fun. We always laugh the hardest when we're filming fart videos. So we will make more. We will make more, so. Yeah. Um, recommend some fart situations mm -hmm. and then Gaviota will fart. I will fart. <laughs> I didn't know that's what was gonna blow up on the channel but that's what ended up happening so that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah I'll work with it. That's totally great. Yeah. I think that's it for our questions so I hope you guys learned a little bit more about us and uh, we really enjoyed this. So if you wanna send us any more questions, we'll probably do this again. So you can just write them in the comments and we'll answer them for you next time. Yeah. So thank you guys for joining us today on this Q&A on Latina Life. So tune in next week. We'll have another episode ready for you. And until then. Nice poppy. Oh, she's not comfortable. There we go. Until then. Bye amigos. Bye. I think we did Breathtaking. it. Breathtaking. That was so Good easy. Job. Yeah, we gotta do videos like this sometimes. We will. Ooh. That was less painful than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah.